explain to me what happened earlier. Being blown up on the group in front of the new girl. I mean, babe, she's going through the same things as you are. You know none of that's allowed in my sessions, right? Plus, I can see that you're drinking again, so. You never stop drinking. I mean, I don't see how that's any of your business. All I'm saying is that drinking is a depressant. It's going to lead to worse things, just like earlier today. Shut your the ass. hell up, Dr. Fong. Listen, I've heard all those speeches before, and you know, they're all the same. Drinking is bad. Smoking is bad. Here's some pills to help with your depression. You know, everybody can't be perfect, like the great Dr. Christopher fucking Palma. That's what you think, right? Yeah. Like my life's just perfect, sunshine and rainbows, huh? You know, I haven't told you, actually I haven't told the group either. Allison's leaving me. Yeah. 15 years, Jim. Been with that woman for 15 years. Out of those 15, we've been married for six. But you know what? None of that's gonna matter anymore. At least not for a few weeks, because by then we'll have already signed our divorce papers, gone our separate ways, and everything we ever fought for is gonna go right down the ship. All that hard work, nothing. And I get to lose the love of my life. So yeah, you're not the only one that's been affected by Mr. Darkness. Did you know she was leaving you? Yeah. Yeah, I've known for a while now. You know, they always say it's the little things that, that matter. You know, it's the little small details. The things that used to annoy you when you were together, but uh, they kind of miss it when you're apart. You know, Allison had this thing where I don't know, whenever we were sitting together, or whatever, you know, say we were watching a movie or something like that, um, I'd always know when she was comfortable because she would always have this habit of just playing with my ear. Like, <laughs> I know it, it, it sounds like something that a five-year-old would do, but it was like I said, man, it, it, it annoys you when you're together, but I don't know. Sometimes I wake up and that sound corny, but sometimes I wish her, wish I could still feel her hand on my ear. Yeah. You know, maybe you haven't heard this. Why don't you enlighten me? Look, it's obvious that Mr. Darkness has had quite the grip on me for some time. I mean, trust me, if I could snap all your problems away and make you better again. Trust me, I'd be a rich man if I was able to do that, but I can't. I can't make any of you better within 24 hours. But I can give you some advice. So here it is. I think that you should go talk to your sister. I know, it's, it's, it's been a while, and I know things haven't been the same since your mother passed, but maybe this will help. I mean, you know, maybe if you guys would just talk, maybe try to earn each other's respects back. It, I don't know. I think it's worth a try. So that's my advice. You just try to work things out. Try to talk to her. Hear her out. Maybe that could be the first step. Just, just think it over. Dr. Palmer, thank you. I know you're trying to help me. No, thank you. Let's see if all this works out first. Then when the time is right, they didn't cut me that check. Take care, David. <laughs>